we have talked about lots of stuff right we have seen how to how to send a get request how to send a post request in fact we have also included database now where you can fetch data using uh, using xml or json on the client side the thing is i want to achieve some more features now so when i say more features let me just go back to my database which is mysql here and i have done some changes in my code i mean in database especially i have deleted this id 105 just to check something and i was trying to update this name so initially it was mayank now i just renamed it to mayank mayu with the help of this this update query so can we can we achieve this too with the help of restful services i mean a client will send a delete request a client may send a update request how can we do that now, if you remember, when you talk about GET request, now GET is very simple. If you want to fetch data, of course, you will be using GET. Uh, if you want to create a new resource on the server, you will be using a, a POST request. Now, for update, we have a special type of request method which is called as PUT. Again, there's a main difference between POST and PUT. Again, we'll discuss that in one of the theory video. But then PUT means PUT is something where using which you can update values. And post is something with, with the help of with the help of which you can create a new resource. We have already used post, right? Now it's time to go for put. In fact, even before starting with the uh, resource, what I will do is I will go back to my Eclipse, and here what I will do is I will create in the repository, especially I will create one method for update. Of course, right? We want to also go for update as well. So what I will do is I will copy this. Now this time we have to go for update. So of course the method name would be update here. So I will say update and the, the query here would be, uh, it will be different. It will be update. Uh, in fact, we can, I, I can just copy this code. So copy and paste. Again, we can call this as code reuse, right? So we'll say update alien set name. Now I don't know the name. So this will be question mark. So you can put this question mark here. I don't know the point, so it will be question mark here, and I don't know the role, I mean the ID here, so that will be question mark. So now, here we have to replace those question marks, right? The first question mark here is a name. So this makes more sense if you have a name. So set string, question number one, it will be name. The second question mark is point, so we'll, name, we'll make this as two. This will be points, and the third question mark is the ID, so this should be three. Right again, we could have written that in sequence. So let me just do that here. So let me copy, cut this part and paste it here. So we are going in sequence one, two, three, one, two, and three. We got all these question marks, and that's it. This is how you update the data. But then, how will you send data from the client? Uh, okay, to do that, we have to, of course, create a resource here. Now, how do I get a resource? Now, I'm creating a resource for uh, getting an alien, uh, sorry, updating an alien. So, of course, we have to create a put request so i'll copy this code and paste it here now instead of using a post request we have to go for put request because we are updating data so should put and the method name would be let's say update alien so i will say update alien it will update the data but then update need to be done only when you have that particular data in the system right example if i try to update something and if if you if you don't find data there of course you cannot update it right uh, in fact, I will I will check that after some time. The main motto here is I, I don't want to create the thing. I want to update the thing. Okay, so I don't want to up, I don't want to create. I want to update. Again, there are some there are some restrictions which we have to follow. That we'll see bit in, in some time. But time being, what what I'm doing is I'm using a put request. Now, using put request, you actually achieve updating. Okay. Now there are some people that do this debate that using put you can create a new resource and using post you can update resource uh, first of all to be specific post is for creation of resource put is for updating but then you can use it you can use it anywhere right it will not make any sense because for you it will work the only thing is if you have someone else and if they are checking your code it will be difficult for them to understand what you have done so let's let's all follow the same standards right so let's use put for update and let's use post for creation of data Okay, now this sounds good. Let me just go back to my, oh, I have to restart the server, it's already done. Let me just go back to my postman or postman. Now here, I want to go for a, let's, let's go for post first. I will go for a post request where I will create a body. Again, I, this time I will go for 105. We'll go for name Praveen and 0.85. So these are my values. And I don't want to send this request. I want to send a request for alien, right? That's my URL for that. And let's say send. 
the moment you do do that you can see in our database we got 105 and we got okay let me just refresh this code you can see we got 105 we got Pravin and we got 85 now i want to update this data so i want to make it i want to change this 104 to mayank again how do i do that so to update of course we have to use a put request now when you send a put request of course for aliens you will say for 104 i want to put name as my mayank so i will say this is mayank and we'll we'll have a points okay what should be the points let's let's go for 90 points so the initial value is uh mayu and 80 let's go for 90 points and let's go for mayank uh will this work let's try it out the moment i click on send uh and if i go to my database you can see there's nothing wrong there if i select star and alien you can see we got 104 mayank and 90. that's how you can update data now just have one query what if you don't have a id which you are specifying so the request which i am sending now is okay where's my postman it is here so the the data which i'm sending is let's say 104 what if you try to update 108 or 107 now what will happen because we don't have any data with 107 right so let's say for 107 i want to change this name from mayu to or mayang to chiku that's his nick nickname he's my nephew actually and let's say points is 100 because as he's my nephew he has more knowledge than me so of course this should work so the moment i run this code okay you can see it worked something something happened you are sending a put request and let me just go back to my database and if i select star oh this is not working on the server side you got it on the on the server side you got you can see we got data on the server side and we have also tried to update but the problem is while you're updating it it is not affected because we don't have any data which with with 107 now what is my intention here is see if it is not there if the data is not there it should create a new resource so using put i have two intention here the first intention is either you, okay you can also return the data you can also return the response to the client hey we have not got any data as 107 that's one way you can do that again we'll do one of in one of the video how to send a response code but then let's say we have a scenario here where uh, if the resource is not available i want to create a new resource in that way what you can do is you can check so while running the resource you can check if uh, before, first you have to fetch the value right so how do i fetch value so we can use this get uh, alien method can you see that we have this uh, get where is that method now uh, we have get alien so what i will do i will i will check if repo dot get alien and if i pass the id i will say a1 dot get id and if i if i fetch an object using this if i compare this with if it is equal to equal to null okay so if this is equal to equal to null we'll we'll say okay so in case if it is equal to equal to null where is that okay so if the object is not available so when i say get alien bypassing that id that means that the object is not available in the database in that scenario it should create a new resource so i will say repo dot create a new resource right and it should work now let's try it out let's try let's try uh, i i'm very hopeful for this now let me just go to my postman and if i click on send okay something is happening on the server side it's saying it is updated but then let's verify if i go back to my database and let's select star oh it's not working what just happened uh okay so it says get oh it, it will not return you null right that's a, that's an issue it will not return you null because when i say get alien i'm actually passing a new object oh how do i verify uh okay so what i will do is okay let's let's try to apply a, a programmer mind here so when i when i try to update this data and before for, before okay how do i verify if the data is available or not so if i say okay so okay okay that makes sense so if i say get alien by by passing that id if this get alien id will say get id is equal to equal to zero because it will be not, it will be a uh, id right it will be zero so if i don't have the data in the database it will return me as a value which is zero is that the case yes it will return you a zero value okay now let's verify let me just restart my do the same thing let me just say send and something is happening on the server side 
because my server is loading it is taking some time okay uh now let's get back to database and done can you see that it is working now so we got 107 chiku and 100 okay that that's easy so that's how you can update that's how you can you can create so if if the data is there it will update if the data is not there it will create it's that simple uh anything else here nothing that that sounds cool um okay that's it uh in the next video we'll talk about uh how do you delete resource so we have talked about updating now let's go for delete so that's it guys i hope you're enjoying this session just click on the like button and do subscribe for further videos